Do religious beliefs influence women's sexuality? What is the importance of consent in sexual satisfaction? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, religious beliefs can influence women's sexuality. Religious norms and values can impact attitudes towards sexuality, abstinence, contraception, and other intimacy-related decisions. Consent is crucial for sexual satisfaction, as it establishes a voluntary and mutual agreement, promoting an environment of trust and respect. It ensures that all individuals participate consciously and willingly, contributing to healthy and satisfying sexual relationships. Age fetishism. Some people have fetishes related to age difference, where they find excitement in power dynamics and experience associated with a generational gap. In certain Amazonian communities in South America, sexual education is transmitted through myths, stories, and ceremonial practices passed down from generation to generation, integrating sexuality with worldview and relationship with nature. Anal sex and pregnancy. Anal sex does not lead to pregnancy, but it is important to practice contraceptive methods if the couple does not wish to conceive. Antibiotic resistance. Some bacteria that cause STDs, such as gonorrhea, are developing resistance to commonly used antibiotics, making treatment more difficult. Aromatherapy. Toys. Some sex toys are infused with aromatic fragrances like lavender or vanilla, which are activated by body heat and can stimulate the senses during intimate play. In conservative societies in Asia and Africa, sexual education may face resistance due to entrenched cultural and religious norms, limiting access to accurate information on sexual and reproductive health. Authenticity. Being authentic and showing oneself without pretending to be someone else can be very attractive to many people. Bacteria in a kiss. A passionate kiss can exchange around 40,000 bacteria. Fortunately, saliva contains disinfectant substances, but this may explain why a cold can sometimes spread surprisingly. Biological factors. In addition to psychological factors, there are also biological factors that can influence premature ejaculation, such as hormonal imbalances, glands, hypersensitivity, or neurological problems. Board games. Board games based on the Kama Sutra have been created, designed for couples who wish to explore their sexuality in a fun and creative way. Body exploration. Foreplay offers women the opportunity to explore their bodies and discover what types of stimuli excite them the most. This can include touching, stroking, kissing on erogenous areas, and a variety of sensual techniques. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. Celebration of diversity. The Kama Sutra acknowledges the diversity of desires, preferences, and human bodies, fostering an inclusive attitude towards sexuality that values the uniqueness of each individual and relationship. Challenging jealousy. Open relationships may require healthy management of jealousy and insecurity, as couples must face the possibility of their loved ones having intimate encounters with others. Changing preferences. Women's preferences for sexual positions may change over time, depending on factors such as age, sexual experience, and changes in body and health. Clubs and communities. Online clubs and communities dedicated to the study and practice of the Kama Sutra have been formed, where people can share experiences, tips, and discuss its teachings. The coitus interruptus method, involving withdrawing the penis before ejaculation to prevent pregnancy, is one of the least effective contraceptive methods. It is often called the withdrawal method. In certain urban communities in North America, safe and accessible spaces such as youth centers and mobile clinics, 
have been created where young people can receive counseling and sexual health services without fear of stigma or discrimination. Concept of emotional connection. Although often associated with sexual positions and techniques, the Kama Sutra also emphasizes the importance of emotional and spiritual connection between lovers, reinforcing the idea that sex goes beyond the physical act. Congenital syphilis. On the rise. Congenital syphilis, which occurs when an infected pregnant woman transmits the disease to her baby, is on the rise in several countries, highlighting the importance of timely diagnosis and treatment during pregnancy. Connection. Between sex and happiness, studies have shown that sexually active individuals tend to report higher levels of life satisfaction and overall happiness, although relationship quality and personal satisfaction also play a significant role. Consent and ethics. Consent from all parties involved is crucial in open relationships. All sexual encounters must be consensual and respect previously established boundaries. Continuous exploration. Open relationships can be dynamic and constantly evolving. Couples may find it helpful to review and adjust their agreements regularly as their desires, needs, and circumstances change. Control favoring positions. For some women, maintaining control during sexual activity is important, so they prefer positions where they can direct the pace and depth of penetration, such as cowgirl or modified missionary. Cotard syndrome is a rare disorder in which a person believes they are dead or that their genital organs have disappeared. This condition can affect one's perception of identity and sexuality. Creating a sensual environment. Carefully preparing the environment for foreplay with soft lighting, gentle music, and seductive scents can help create a sensual atmosphere that stimulates all the senses. Cultural differences in sexual practices. Sexual practices vary widely among different cultures and societies, influenced by factors such as religion, history, and social norms. What may be considered taboo in one culture may be accepted in another, and vice versa. Cultural influence on sexuality. Sexual attitudes and practices are influenced by cultural, religious, and social factors, resulting in a wide range of norms and expectations surrounding sex. Cultural influences. Cultural norms and values can shape women's attitudes towards sex and influence their preferences for sexual positions, with some cultures promoting more conservative or traditional views, while others embrace openness and experimentation. Cultural taboos. In some cultures, fetishes and sexual fantasies may be considered taboo or even illegal. This can lead to marginalization or discrimination against people engaging in sexual practices considered uncommon. Definition. Premature ejaculation is defined as the inability to voluntarily control ejaculation during sexual activity, resulting in ejaculation that occurs too early and interferes with sexual satisfaction for both the individual and their partner. In some Scandinavian countries like Denmark, sex education has been introduced in nurseries for young children, aiming to teach them about the body, consent, and gender differences from an early age. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.